Hello everyone, Josh up here. Today we're gonna have a look at another Baby G watch. Bear with me, this one has a few features that we cannot find on our G-Shock watches. So that's why I figure instead of waiting for Casio to add them in our G-Shock, why not just grab this thing, show to you guys what this thing could do and we'll be done. While at it, as always, I gotta talk about the background a little bit. This one is called the BG-2002. L. The L stands for leather and obviously watch band came in leather with animal coating. The bottom part is matte finish although it is synthetic so that's why you're gonna see this crack pattern going over here. Obviously over time it will crack because it is synthetic leather but the one on top stays very very well so that's good. This watch came in gold and black to mimic a bangle. Literally, Casio made this to look like a bracelet to be worn as a fashion accessory. At the same time, still a very functional piece. I'll show you guys how it works after this. For now, it came with this uh, gold Casio China sign buckle, gold connector, and gold uh, mineral glass protector. This is a baby G with a water resistant to 10 bar only. And if you look at the back plate, should be down there. There it is. It operates on Casio 3077 BG-2002L stainless steel back made in China, and all this button purpose is being stamped on the back plate as well. The, well, the back plate is pretty much basic, similar to most G-Shock watch. That is what's resistant to 10 bar. And if you look on this side, the buttons came in square shape, guarded with this bar over here, and it locked with two screws. I already disassembled this watch prior to uh, making this review video. So I gotta say the construction is similar to our uh, G Cool series G-Shock watch and it is incredibly annoying to assemble this watch back up after you disassemble it. It's just, I don't know, there's something about the construction that's just annoying. Anyway, uh, this is how it looks like. Obviously it is square watch to a size of 36 by 11 millimeter thickness so that's pretty cool okay now let me turn on the test screen there it is so this is how it looks like you also have the obviously basic stuff 12 hour or 24 time format daylight saving time auto repeat auto light function uh snooze alarm and uh signal okay all of this uh, pixel will light it up and light it off like so displays you the time in digital day and date that's it and the way that the minute goes is it will blink over and over so it's very beautiful you could customize all this display by the way from home time as well you could swap this to display like that instead of a day date will be displayed on top and when you tilt the watch it is called the zoom function tilt the watch and the digital display will uh, enlarge this part uh, this date display and then there it is. Let me uh, swap this back to time display instead. 1219. Tilt it. Hold on. Tilt it. There it is. It will be enlarged and then basically Castle called this the zoom function where it enlarged the display so you could see it better. That's pretty cool. We can't find it in our G-Shock. Press it just buttons once. You could see uh, the city code that was set up into the watch. Obviously press and hold it. You could do the uh, city setting hours, minute, daylight saving time, digital time, calendar year, months, day, and all those. So press this upper right button. You could go to EL backlighting. Press and hold it to turn on the EL light. Casio says that it came in purple. I did disassemble the watch and see the EL panel did came in light purple. It won't glow as bright, especially at daytime, but you could use it at nighttime. So that's good. Pressing mode button once will brings you into the world time mode. 48 cities and 29 time zones registered in the watch. And there you go, a lot of cities and the time will display at the bottom. Next, you'll have alarm. And while I'm cycling through all the functions, you guys do see the uh, animations, right? It's so cool. So you're gonna have five alarm in here with snooze and signal, and that's pretty much it. Next, you'll have your stopwatch with a range to 60 minutes only, but you do have a precision to 1 over 100 seconds and also split time function as well. Next, you'll have your countdown timer. Start this is, we'll have a range to 24. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. We have a gas over here. There it is. Anyway, it's not bothering me. 24 hour range and a precision to 1 over 10 seconds. Well, this part is pretty basic, right? It does have the auto repeat as well. 
Next is called the edit. So this is where things get interesting. If you want to turn the beeping tone on or off, just like so. And next you could also use this alarm PTN, which means for alarm pattern, which is the song for the alarm. So we are now at A. So let's see how the alarm gonna sound like in A. Press this button. So this is the common alarm beep sound, right? So if I go back to edit, and if I, sorry, this is not edit. All right, edit, go to B, alarm pattern B. Let's have a look back. It will be like this. Almost similar like the G7700 G-Shock watch. And you could also have another pattern uh, being set in here for alarm pattern C. This is how it will beep. All right, that's how it is. Interesting, I prefer the C uh, pattern. So in here, you could also set the 12 hour or 24 hour time format. You could do the display. So in here is the display setting. It has five variations. So what you're seeing right now, 12 hour, right? Hold on, let me go to here for, all right. AEG, which means positive display or AEU, which means negative display as being a display on top. Obviously the display became negative and you could do so this uh, type of interchange as well. So 30, every 30 seconds, this display will become negative and after 30 seconds, it will become positive back and keep repeating yourself over and over again. Or you could change it to every 30 minute interval, it will turn negative to positive and over and over again. Or you could swap this 12 hour interval. So every 12 hour, the display in the middle only will become negative and then we get negative I'm sorry, positive, negative, and so on. So let's uh, use this every 30, 30 second points over there and it will interchange the digital display like so. So next thing you can set is blink. So this is the animations for the seconds counter. You'll see how it works after this. So on, leave it on, and key tone. All right, that's all. Back to home time keeping. So when we reach 50, you can see it will blink over here. And as you can see, it is in negative display now. So after 30 seconds, it will uh, get back to positive. Right about now, it should be. There you go. All right, it's blinking just now, right? So that's it as far as the function of the watch, which again, we cannot find, especially the zoom function. That is very cool in my opinion. It will be coming handy to certain people, not for me, but certain people out there, I'm very sure it's gonna be helpful. So this is how the overall watch looks like. It has this connector over here. Uh, the connector for the lug is 40 millimeters. So if you don't like this whole strap, you could just plug it out, enter in a 40 millimeters adapter. But you could plug in a 16 millimeters adapter over here. Just remove this laser part only and plug in another. I think I could plug in this adapter over here. Should fit very well. And then I could use any watch band I have with me to this uh, body. So that's pretty convenient in my opinion. All right, let me put the watch on my wrist and show you guys how it will look like. And then I'll show you guys how the interior is at the end of the video after uh, finish this unboxing. Hold on. So hard to put on a watch while wearing a glove, you know. And by the way, notice that a lot of uh, leather cracks just fall down to the background. Oh, and by the way, I'm, miss I'm missing the band keeper, so I don't have it. It looks like that. There you go. Fits very nice in my opinion. Look at that. For a skinny wrist, well, you could use this. I mean, you could remove this strap and use it on your G-Shock watch. It, it does have this 16 millimeters connector over here anyway, and a 40 millimeters on top. So you could use it and nobody gonna know because there are no stamp, a baby G stamp at all over here. Nobody would know unless uh, unless you tell them. All right, this, that is all I uh, have to share to all of you guys about this baby G model. I hope you guys found this video a little bit useful, informative, and entertaining. Thank you very much for watching. This is JJF.